Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. And in this video, we will be creating an automation framework from scratch using chat GPT. So it's a great tool and let us see whether uh, like we are able to create this framework or not. So I have this uh, chat GPT homepage open and if you want to use this tool, you just have to sign up and you are good to go. So let us ask chat GPT that uh, create an automation uh, yeah it's visible framework create an selenium automation framework framework using java let's see what it has to offer sure here is an outline install java okay and download and install the IDE, Maven build tool, Selenium libraries and Maven project. Okay. And like, this is really amazing that it is giving the script also. Perfect. So in the meantime, it is generating the script. Let us uh, like start from point one or like let it finish. It's, it's really nice to see this script getting generated and we will be we'll be doing the same okay so like whatever it is telling us we will try to follow the same and in the end let's see that we are whether we are able to create a framework or not so we have to install java we already have java in our machine but let's confirm one again where is my terminal here it is and let us see which version of java is there so i have 17 installed that's good so point number one is done and uh, eclipse integrated environment so rather than using eclipse i'll be using intellij because i don't have eclipse installed so uh, let us create a new project okay and this can be like a chat framework or chat gpt framework Okay, and we'll be using Java 1.8 and archetype can be quick start. Perfect. So this framework is like the skeleton is created and let's see what it says next. Install the Maven build tool. So we already have selected the Maven, uh, Maven framework. Selenium Java client library. Okay, so for, uh, for installing the Selenium, we have to use selenium maven dependency uh, this is the maven dependency and it hasn't it haven't told us like which version to use so let's go with the famous one this is the last stable version and most people still uses the same so let us like include this dependency in our project uh, where is our project so we have to include it in the pom.xml mm. yeah so we have added selenium files okay so this part is also done create a package for your test scripts okay and create a test script using java selenium api and java build and run test script okay uh, simple test script so, um, okay, so this is just an outline, but uh, we want to use the page object model. So let us like try to reframe the question. Um, create an Selenium automation framework using page object model approach using page object model mm. because this is not a framework this is just a simple script maybe like this is where uh, this is the difference between humans and ai it is telling the same thing i guess install maven we are already done till here simple page object class yeah this is what we were looking for so 
by this is Google home page okay mm -hmm. so let us open Google so in the meantime it is generating the test uh, let's let's copy uh, copy paste this page and uh, we can copy the code from here and in our src main because all the test file will go here and whatever remaining will go here okay so we already have this let's delete this and create a new like login page or maybe home page mm, we can name it home page okay so this is google home page so let's rename it to google home page all the class file starts with capital google home page and let's rename it rename file perfect and let us copy paste this so we already have this part and now like we need this and we will import this on our own <clears throat> yeah mm, we have copy pasted this and let's import the web driver uh, we all like we have added the selenium dependency so ideally it should search for dependency this should be in the web driver i don't know why it's not let me refresh this it's refreshed and now let us try yeah import class okay and let us import by also yeah everything is perfect so this is in web element so let us understand what it is doing so it has created a private web driver because this uh, this driver will be only limited to this class and this is the element search box okay and we can cross let's let's cross check it so this is the home page and if we go and inspect it then the search bar um, yeah see name queue so this has already like created for us so by name queue okay and uh, this is this is the constructor to pass the driver because this is a private web driver and we have to pass the driver so it knows and uh, like we have to open open google uh, home page perfect and in that we have to pass this string query and in that uh, driver dot find element send quiz dot query so where is the query mm. I don't know what happened let it be okay so everything is good till here uh, let us open this and uh, this is our home page test so in that like this is calling the firefox driver okay so let us like copy this code also and we will name our class as selenium test okay and uh, let me open my intellij id and test okay so instead of this we can delete this and create a new uh, the name was selenium test i guess yeah okay so here we can just copy paste it okay and 
google home page if we go to google home page then uh, yeah it if i copy paste it so this was the error which i was not able to find earlier so perfect and uh, our selenium test is okay looks good and uh, we haven't initialized like the driver is initialized then how is it is going to find the driver so for this let me um, because i can see the error if we try to run this like test i'm sure um, let us try okay yeah so illegal state exception the path to driver executable yeah that was i was thinking okay so for this let us uh, like use the web driver manager and for that we have to use a dependency i have already or let us like search it in the maven dependency in web driver manager so web driver manager it's by boni garcia mm, i don't think this one is this web driver m a n a g r yeah this one so this one like i don't uh, i don't know why but uh, i will like i i always uh, try to look for those which has the highest number so this one uh, most people are using it so let's go with this <clears throat> so let's add our dependency mm, let me add this and later on also we will be needing i don't think we'll be needing the test ng because this is we are not using any uh, like test annotation so let us first implement this and later on we can improve the code okay so now we have to set up the like web driver manager okay and firefox driver dot setup this will do the work for us let us try now and it has created the object of home page class okay and through page we will be going through the open this will get the google home page and after that it will be performing mm, okay it will be performing a search through string query okay and and we are passing selenium in that okay or let's search chat gpt print the page title so in the output we should uh, get the page title and in the end it will close the browser so let us run this this thing only so selenium test main we are running Mm, mm, mm. I cannot see any. Yeah, it has launched. Okay, so it has launched the Google. Okay, so let me launch it again. Let me run it again. Again, this is launching on my second screen. So let us try to add a wait. Okay, after this search, so thread dot sleep. Although this is and we have to this will throw us an exception add exception okay now run and this is going to launch it here but now chat gpt and it will wait for three seconds so this is this is working perfectly fine but again like this is this is not a proper framework i was looking for a framework that can like tomorrow if we have second page okay so maybe after this we have to we can add our page pages here but again like we have to create uh create instance of each and every page here okay so let us like try to improve this uh, this framework in the second part so 
till here if uh, you have liked this video just hit that like button and comment down below that uh, whether you will be using the chat gpt for your framework creation or maybe learning selenium or not and uh, Maybe in the second video, we will try to improve this framework and let's see how we can differentiate this, uh, like create more pages in that and uh, like make our uh, framework more robust because uh, this is running fine. And let us see where is our chat GPT and what it is saying next. So although we are not using Maven to build and uh, page object, okay. And uh, this, everything looks good and this is running and uh, we have we like we forgot to uh, show the output so this was this was the page title which got printed okay and we can assert it also so for for assert like we have to import one more dependency uh, let it let's let's do it in the second video okay uh, i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video so that's it guys see you in the next video bye